Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Dambulkar. In last videos, we have seen how to implement selection structure or conditional statements in Apex programming language. So we have seen selection structure can be implemented by using simple if, if else, nested if or else if ladder. Also we have seen how to implement selection structure by using switch statement. Right? In this video, we will see how to implement loop structure. First, we will see what is the necessity of loop structure. Suppose we want to print hello world 100 times. So normally what we can do, we can write system.debug statement 100 times, right? Definitely it will increase complexity of program. To avoid complexity of program, what can be done? We can write system.debug statement one time and we will write code which will execute this system.debug statement 100 times. It is possible by using loop structure. Now look at this flowchart. Here we have condition. If condition is true, then we are executing this statement. Again, we are checking condition. Again, if condition is true, again we are executing the statement like this. This is called as loop. One iteration, second iteration, third iteration like this. And this loop runs until this condition is false. This is how loop structure is implemented. In Apex programming language, loop structure is implemented by using for, while and do while. Now see, what is the syntax for this? All the loop structure in Apex programming language, they have three important components. Initialization, condition, increment or decrement. In initialization, we are initializing looping variable. Then we have one condition, that condition we will check and then we are incrementing or decrementing looping variable. Initialization is done only once, while condition is checked in every iteration. Also, increment and decrement is done in every iteration. Now, we will see syntax of for. Now, see that I have told there are three major components, right? Initialization, condition, increment or decrement. And these are the set of statements. Initialization, condition, increment or decrement, these are separated by semicolon. This is a part of syntax. Initialization is done in the beginning and it is done only once. Condition is also checked in the beginning of the loop and increment and decrement is done at the end of this loop. See, initialization is done in the beginning and it is done only once. Condition is checked in every iteration just before this block and increment and decrement is done in every iteration at the end of this block. So see, condition is checked in the beginning of this block, increment or decrement is done at the end of this block. Now we will see syntax of Y. Now look at this. Just position of initialization, condition and increment or decrement is changed. Now see, in for we have written initialization, condition and increment and decrement in this round bracket only, right? In while, we are writing initialization just before this while statement. In round bracket, we are writing condition and here inside this block at the end, we are writing increment or decrement. Now look at the syntax of do while. Here we are using keyword do. After that, we have block of statements and after that, we have this while statement. Here we are using keyword while and in round bracket, we are writing condition. After that, we have this semicolon and before all these, we have initialization and initialization is the only one. Now see, what is the difference between while and do while? Now look at this. In while, we are checking condition first and then we are running this block, right? While in do while, we are running this block first and then we are checking condition. In while, if this condition is false, then this loop will run zero times, right? It will not run single time. But in do while, if this condition is false, still this loop will run single time, right? In while, this loop will run for zero or more times, while in do while, loop will run at least one time, right? Now we will see how to write code in Apex. Here I have opened this developer console and also I have opened this anonymous window. We will take example to print square of 0 to 4. Now see how it can be done using for, while and do while. Now look at this. For, then there are three parts, right? And it is separated by two semicolon, right? First part is initialization. So we will take one variable integer i is equal to 0, right? We are defining one variable i, we are initializing with 0. Now see, second part is condition. So here we will mention i less than 5. Now see, why i less than 5? Because we want to run this loop 5 times, right? 0 to 4. These are 5 numbers. 
that's why here I have taken i less than 5. Then i plus plus. So here I am incrementing value of i by 1. After that we have these statements, right? We have block of statements. Here we will write some statement. So system dot debug. Here we are writing this string square of then plus. Plus is for the concatenation. Then i. I means this number 0 to 4. Then is equal to. Then here we are calculating square of i. Right. Now see. We will run this. Debug only. So here you can see. Square of 0, 0. Square of 1, 1. Square of 2, 4. Square of 3, 9. Square of 4 is equal to 16. Right. So in this way we have printed square of 0 to 4 by using this for loop. Now suppose if we want to run this loop for infinite time. So how we can do? We will put one condition which will be true for every iteration. Now see, I am adding one condition i greater than minus 1. Now see, this condition will be true for each iteration. Right? We will run this. Now see, so this loop is running for infinite time. Right? Let us see what will happen. Here we got one exception. See, apex CPU time limit exceeded. And this loop was running for infinite time. We got this error. Right? Now see. We will make it i less than 5. Now we will see how to write same code by using while. So see. What is the syntax? First is initialization. Right? So this will take. So this is initialization. Then we have while. Right? While statement. In round bracket we have to put condition. So this condition. Here we will put then in curly bracket we have this statement right so this statement will put there and inside this block at the end we have this increment or decrement right so here we have increment also we can put decrement so see here we are putting this increment so look at this here we have initialization then here is condition and here increment or decrement so increment or decrement that should be the last statement in this block and before that we have some statements right now see we will run our code debug only so see here we got this output right now see again we will go to our anonymous window now same thing we will do it by using do while let us see for do while we will copy this see this while statement should be here at the end then semicolon and here we have to use one keyword do. So in this way we can write do while. Now see, we will run our code. Debug only. And here we got this output, right? Suppose we want to run this loop for infinite times. So what we can do here instead of i less than 5, what we can do i greater than minus 1. So see, this condition will be true for every iteration, right? So we will get infinite loop. Same thing we can do for the do while. Here, if I add some condition which will be true for all the iteration, then it will run for the infinite times. So, in this way, we can write syntax for for while and do while. So, friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So, stay connected. Thank you.